Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and it's official, Black Ops 6 is the next Call of Duty game. We all pretty much knew that, but today they officially came out with logos and key art and the name. They officially said it's Black Ops 6. Pretty much everything up until this point was speculative. It was all but confirmed, but today it's officially confirmed because pretty much out of nowhere, they just came out and said it. Yesterday, we got the start of the Truth Lies marketing campaign with their website, but then today, the Xbox Twitter account just comes out and says, GG to all who guessed right. The Black Ops 6 reveal will be on Sunday, June 9th, immediately following the Xbox Showcase. Now, when it comes to the Truth Lies website, it has been updated to feature two new channels, including a channel guide, as well as Channel 6 News, which shows that multiple landmarks around the world have been defaced, similar to what happened to Mount Rushmore in the very first teaser. There are still two channels on the TV that are pure static, so presumably more teasers are going to be coming out either today or tomorrow. And speaking of that, content creators who are partnered with Call of Duty have started to receive packages in the mail today. These packages contain things like documents and beepers, all of which are clues about the game that the creators must figure out and then post to social media. Obviously, this is going to be more in relation to the Black Ops 6 campaign and its setting, as well as its characters. But over on the official Call of Duty Twitter page, they updated their profile banner to this, which clearly shows the word golf. Now, this seems to confirm that Black Ops 6 will indeed be set in the Gulf War, which lines up with the previous leaks and rumors that we had, which stated that the game was initially going to be called Black Ops Gulf War. I suppose somebody in marketing thought Black Ops 6 would be a better name, so here we are. It also looks like Raven Software has had a heavy hand in the development of this game. It's said right now that they actually co-developed Black Ops 6 along with Treyarch, which has been mentioned several times in official posts about Black Ops 6, but this was something to be expected, because apparently Raven Software helped Treyarch with the campaign of Black Ops Cold War, and with how COD is developed now with dozens of studios around the world all pitching in. I suppose we'll have to wait and see just to what extent Raven Software's hand was in making Black Ops 6 so far. Now, last but not least, the marketing for the game is still ongoing, but we can fully expect more reveals and teasers this week leading up until the Call of Duty Direct on June 9th. But in the short term, the official Call of Duty Twitter account has started up a new marketing campaign. It looks like if you reply to their tweet using hashtag Black Ops 6 and linking your Activision ID, you'll get the Cerberus logo calling card within Black Ops 6 once the game officially comes out. To me, this seems like a pretty basic calling card, so I'm not sure why they didn't just have this in Black Ops 6 by default and then add the animated version of it to Modern Warfare 3 for people to use in their lobbies. That just seems like a bit of added advertisement for the game because, of course, you see calling cards in the lobby, you see calling cards and people do things like go on killstreaks or call on UAVs, and so having the Black Ops 6 logo basically be plastered all over Modern Warfare 3 would be decent marketing, but instead it's going to be a calling card for the full launch of the game, but no doubt Black Ops 6 will be shooting up the trending tabs because of how many people are going to be using that hashtag in order to get the calling card. But ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much it for all the news that came out today in regards to Black Ops 6. Again, they're doing this whole marketing campaign thing right now between the launch of X Defiant and the launch of Season 4 for Modern Warfare 3. It does make a lot of sense for why they're doing this right now. They definitely want Call of Duty to stay on top and people not to be talking about X Defiant. So I suppose it's a good time to be a shooter fan because you have a brand new game that just came out and now they're officially teasing everything in regards to the next Call of Duty title. But again, most of the stuff that we're going to be seeing over the course of the next week and then the stuff that's going to be coming out from the content creators and everything, it's mostly going to be in relation to the campaign. It's not going to be anything like real meat and potatoes, you know? It's not going to be anything crazy. It's mostly just going to be things about the theme, the setting, a couple of characters. Today it was confirmed that Adler is going to be coming back. The real stuff is going to be on June 9th. When we get the Black Ops 6 Direct, they're going to be talking, of course, more about the campaign and more about the setting but I would not be surprised whatsoever with how aggressive they're being this year if they start giving us multiplayer teasers right there at Black Ops 6 Direct on June 9th. But as always, we're going to have to cross that bridge when we get to it. So I'm going to keep all of you posted as new information comes out and as we learn more. But for right now, that's it for this video here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. Thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.